people. Warm weather brings out crime historically. If you go back 50, 60, 100 years, we see that. And unfortunately, that's what happens. And violence happens in the home, and then in the home it happens outside. It really starts in the home. All the violence begins in the home. It doesn't begin in the street, it brings in that home. Remember that. It all comes, stems from a home and stems from that family, nothing else. That child that didn't pay attention at nine years old is a gang banger. Police department, community didn't make him, family made him. Uh, that, that young uh, girl uh, got pregnant, thrown out of the house. It started from the family. It didn't start from the police. Can't blame the schools or police department. Blame yourselves. Look in the mirror and say, why can't we work together and do it? Why, why do we have to allow violence uh, uh, in our community? Since Martin Luther King was assassinated and, and Bobby Kennedy, over a million people have been killed by guns in America. Now think of that. Over a million people were killed by guns in America. It's 1968. Now we're not talking about all those that were seriously injured. We, those are forgotten souls. We just don't even talk about them. But a million people. And still we struggle with this idea that guns is the answer. The courts are not the answer. Schools are not the answer. People believe that guns are the answer to solve any problem in any community. And I disagree with that philosophy. That should not be our model, guns solve issues in America. Uh, it should be the court system. It should be the schools that solve the issues. But unfortunately, there's a trend if you see it uh, going on. I want to compliment Chicago police. Uh, 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 since I talked to uh, uh, the other day about the sil code of silence where victims are shot and uh, injured uh, or killed and the family refuses to t uh, even talk to the police. I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden police are reporting there. Even the victims that are shot and the families want to come forward and say, we, we better solve this crime. Because if we don't solve the crime, they're going to kill somebody else. And again, the code of silence, uh, unfortunately, too many people shut their eyes and don't see anything. And I think, again, uh, we ask people to really become part of the community. If you see something wrong, you better, you better just say, hey, that's wrong, and let's do something about it. Curfew is there to protect children, not for police to arrest anyone. We should not be out there looking for your children. You should look for your own child. If your child is out at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, that is not the police fault. That's your fault. The police department is not supposed to do that. You're supposed to do that. You're supposed to know where your child is. And, and again, we have to do a better job. Maybe if you can't take care of a child, call 311 and say, I cannot take care of my child. Please help me. I just can't take care of him. I don't have the wherewithal. I have substance abuse. If you do that, we can save that child. If you don't do it, again, that child is lost. And to, and to me, uh, we talk about the positive ways. Here's an example of positive ways. Recently, I was in, uh, 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 at Harvard uh, Kennedy School with Mike Bloomberg, and someone raised a hand to me, Mary, tell me the graduation rates in the Chicago Public Schools. I said, what do you want, 90%, 80%, 99%, 100%? You don't graduate children for just to get the diploma. It has to be a quality diploma. It has to be something meaningful. I can graduate 100% 100 of every child can graduate. Remember we should do that in the past? They couldn't read, they got off the stage, you couldn't read or write, but everybody looked good when they walked up the stage. And so we're talking about positive things that, 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 that the, I hope the media brings out about young people here in our city. And just here, just alone, these, these young men here, uh, here in this school, a positive role model that we can talk about teachers and coaches and volunteers. We have to see more role models in all our communities, and that is important. Role models are important. Again, we talk about a safe summer, and we do this every year. So we're announcing this summer the, sister, the city and all its sister agencies, joined by community and faith-based organizations, will provide about 250,000 of Chicago's young people the opportunity to participate in a wide range of education, sports, and other activities. That's about 35,000 less than last summer. We reflects both a very, very difficult economy, we know that, the absence of one time only federal stimulus support. Again, I always talk about that. Uh, federal government should be supporting us continually and not just one shot and then leave. Again, I want to call upon all the business community to provide any summer opportunities uh, for young people, either by contributing funds uh, to a community organization to fund more summer opportunities or by offering job shadowing or mentoring or even part-time summer employment for young people. We know it's very difficult, but again, uh, uh, this really helps uh, another young person here in our city. This summer, some of the most exciting new programs are being offered 
partnership with the World of Business Sports Chicago, which is the organization that grew out of the 2016 effort to promote development of recreational and competitive sports among young people. I'm pleased to announce that 6.1 million that was left over from our Olympic efforts, uh, most of it raised from our business community, will be used to support World Sports Chicago program. This summer, World uh, Sports Chicago has organized a series of events, and this is going on for about you know, five, or five or six months uh, dealing with them. Uh, activities that will provide new opportunities for about 12,000 young people, including several programs being offered for the first time. In partnership with the Chicago Wrestling Coaches Association, we'll hold the first annual wrestling festival at Navy Pier on June 5th. And in partnership with the Chicago Public School, Chicago Park District, Illinois Kids Wrestling Federation, World Sports Chicago will help expand the wrestling program and public league by operating six wrestling camps this summer. The NBC Fitness Festival, June 5th and 6th, will give young people a chance to participate in Sport Fit, which helps connect them to sports that best fit their physical strength and personal interests. World Sports Chicago is working with Chicago Park District to launch a new archery and weightlifting program in parks across the city this summer. These new programs build on the track and field and swim programs World Support Chicago uh, has offered last summer, will offer again this summer, which is exciting. World Sports Chicago has already exposed more than 30,000 30, young people to sports through its programs, it has created a program to help Chicago young people prepare for college, involve local Olympians and Paralympians, and mentoring young people in schools and local sports programs. They have a speakers bureau. It's really exciting for younger people. All these initiatives will continue. Others will be established as a legacy of the 2016 efforts. There are other great programs for young people this summer. After School Matters will offer Chicago teens about 7,000 opportunities in arts, sports, technology, science, and communication. These programs are designed to encourage young people to explore a variety of career options, again, workplace skills, engage in structural activities, and remain safe. Chicago Department of Family and Support Services will offer 24,000 opportunities, including, including about 14,000 summer jobs for young people in both private and with the city and its sister agencies. Department uh, uh, has new, uh, the Chicago uh, Police Department and others have a new gang intervention prevention program this summer that works with young people between the ages of 13 and 18 who are gang involved, who are at the fringe of taking part in risky behavior. We'll provide support service for social workers, counselors, and coaches, and through the Department uh, of Family and Support Services with other agencies. The Chicago Park District will offer summer programs and summer camps to about 90,000 youth, including once upon a day camp activity guide with 30 days of activities focused on summer reading. The CAPS program and Chicago uh, uh, Police Department offer a variety of programs that teach life skills, provide a positive experience with law enforcement to more than 1,700 young people. Chicago Housing Authority will offer day camps, overnight camping, jobs, and community-based organizations to more than 4,000 young people and CHA residents. Chicago Public Schools will offer programs and opportunities for 75,000 young people. Again, this will include the Freshman Connection Program, Summer Bridge Program, Language Programs, and many others. The Chicago Public Library will offer summer opportunities to 15,000 young people in reading. And when people ask me, what should I do with my child? We have wonderful libraries. Take your child to a library. Simple as that. What a great, great opportunity for you during the summer, a couple days a week. Uh, and they're one of the, the staff works very hard, very um, uh, civic minded in the sense that they're worried about younger people. And so this is a great asset in every community here in the city of Chicago. Reading is uh, art uh, is the theme of the Chicago uh, 2010 summer reading program, uh, which is a partnership uh, 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 with the Art Institute. They're going to have a reading program connected with the Art, art Institute, which is really important about uh, some of the great uh, artists uh, uh, here uh, at, the, at the Art Institute and also local artists here in Chicago. As you can see, there's many, many programs. We ask people to visit our website, call 311 to enroll all of our children. Uh, the summer programs build on many, many steps. Uh, and I want to thank uh, uh, using 30 million in federal economic stimulus funds to reduce school violence, create cultures of calm in 38 high schools with high concentrations of student at risk being involved with violence. Deploying Chicago Police Department restore resources uh, to troubled schools at dismissal times, and also working with the student body and the principal of everyone. Uh, these children are going to come back the next day. So they leave one day, they're coming back the next day. So you have to get all the students and the parents involved. 
using one million in proceeds from the parking meter agreement to fund at least 500 jobs and other school uh, uh, opportunities for young people in our public schools. We want to keep our children out of harm's way. We don't want to get them involved in gangs, guns, or drugs. Uh, uh, and I think everyone can agree on these steps. We need fewer guns in all our communities, making uh, our children take advantage of every positive alternative. But and again, a loved one, a parent, a mentor has to really be there with the child. Parents and guardians, take your responsibility over your children. Our strict enforcement of the curfew, 10 p.m. Sunday through Thursday, 11 p.m. Friday and Saturday for young people 16 and under. If we all work together to accomplish these goals, we can save, have a wonderful summer for all of our children of our city. Thank you.